Anyone with a long hair, do you ever feel like when you take your hair initially out of the ponytail, you're practically a model? Hello, plant people. How are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley, and I'm a soil scientist with crazy hair because I cycled to and from work today. So I'm kind of a mess, a little bit. First of all, you're going to smash that like button, and I will grant you an adorable photo of some sort of fuzzy animal that I own in my zoo. So hit it okay now that you smash the like button probably subscribe because i'm that awesome let's jump into exactly how to plant potatoes properly i find that there's a lot of mistakes made when it comes to potato planting and for obvious reasons we simply think that you just throw them in the ground cover them with a ton of dirt and then eventually mound them after but there are some tips to follow actually in the initial picking process of what potato you want to grow all the way to how you should actually start them indoors or in an outdoor setting so let's jump into the science and exactly what's going on when we're planting potatoes if you've ever had really low yields or horrible luck with potatoes then this big video is most definitely for you because I'm assuming you've skipped or completely missed a ton of these steps here. So the first thing is actually choosing a potato meant for your zone. If you don't know what your zone is, be sure to check out all my other videos on that. Once you know your zone, you're going to know how many growing degree days there are in your zone and you can select your potatoes based on that. I'm a zone three in Canada of zone four USDA and the potatoes I selected are a 60 to 90 day. However, that is on the high side. You may want to go lower than that. Something um, 60 days in and around that 60 day mark is a okay. You don't want to go up into 120, especially in my zone. If you're in a zone that allows it, then good on you, go for it. The way you find out this information, it's usually in small fine print right at the bottom. It says matures in and it has 60 to 90 days. These are considered early. They're not really, but early is what you want if you're in a colder environment so once you select your potatoes and you made sure that they're within your zone's range for growth then you can go on to the next step so the next step is actually grabbing out that potato and giving it a good look if you have these long lanky stems that's all, usually an indication that your potato was germinated or began to sprout inside of a bag. So lack of light will cause leggy stems similar to what we see when we grow without grow lights for our tomatoes, for example. So we don't want these. These are very, very flimsy. They're very loose and they're going to snap off very easily once we actually place any sort of dirt or weight on top. So we want to avoid this and there's a few ways to do so. The number one way is called chitting. So in order to chit properly, we, is chit a verb? I don't even, I don't know. I'm not a grammar Nazi. I'm actually really horrible at the English language, mostly because I find it a little pretentious. Anyways, um, so we're gonna look at our wonderful potato here and we're going to find our belly button. Yes, our belly button. Potatoes have put belly buttons. So this little indent is actually where the root used to connect to our potato. You will not find this anywhere else on the entire potato. You will only find it on one end. From there, you're going to place it in a tray or a cup or anything. It doesn't have to be able to hold moisture and you just wanna place it belly button down with all our sprouts facing upwards. Then you're gonna rip off all these ends, leaving us with these beautiful little nodes. From there, you're going to put this in a bright location and you can mist them once a day, once every two days, it's kind of up to you, it's not an absolute must. And you're going to form really nice tight nodules and you're not going to have one out of each section. You're probably gonna have quite a few and I'll insert some photos of what that will look like when you're done chitting. Now, in a large production, such as a potato farm, for example, chitting is not something that we do. Um, if you're planting a ton of potatoes, such as what I recently did out at our farm, chitting is kind of out of the question because 
chitting 10 pounds of potatoes would be an absolute nightmare. But if you're doing just a real tiny bag like this one, I think this is, uh, yeah, so this is three pounds. It's a little Biba bag. Chitting is completely in the books. And this is going to ensure not only high yield, but it's going to give you a hardier plant and it's going to produce a lot more. So chitting is an absolute must. From there, you're going to want to plant your potatoes at approximately three to four inches in depth, but you're going to want to dig that trench down six or seven inches, meaning we'll have three to four inches that is barren and has no soil, so it actually will dip down. There's a few reasons for that. The first one being it's going to allow us to capture some water. This year is going to be a drought year, I can almost guarantee it, so you will want to do this method. And then over time, as the potato begins to sprout, every time we get an inch or two, we're going to cover that potato with another inch of soil, leaving one inch above the soil. And we will continue that onwards um, until we completely fill in that hole and get about, you know, one to two inches of a mound. Then we are completed and we just wait. From there, we wait for the flowers to bloom, wilt away and disappear, and then we can actually begin harvesting. So we can harvest right away, or we can actually leave them in the ground, which will preserve them a bit longer. It's completely up to you. So you guys have to let me know in the comments down below if you even knew what chitting was, if you've done it, or if it's something completely new to you. And as always, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and if you really truly enjoyed it and you think it will help someone else, please, please, please share that video on forums or with friends, family, whoever you think may benefit. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.